So this is a basic tool I've made for grouping things together. Um, if you have a very large list of things that, that you need to group, um, you can paste them in here, or we have a question and answer version, or if you have anything that's in two parts, um, you can paste one part here and the other part there, and then it just pulls it together for you. And does the grouping. Um, so the way it works, you've set it up the way you set up a normal sheet. And so you put your API key up, you get to file and make a copy, get your API key, put it up there. It only uses the ADA embeddings model, so it's very cheap. Um, I'm not sure what it is, two cents per 700 pages worth of input or something like that. It's um, much cheaper than the DaVinci model. So you go to GPT and get embeddings once you've put your list in. And these codes represent the, these terms basically to the model. And then you go to group and it'll group them together. Um, so you can see the chocolate pudding group, it's put chocolate and cake in, the pizza group, it's put pizza and pasta, and um, table and chair I've got in the table group, and um, these three pets I've got in the pet cat group. And um, the re results you get will depend on the threshold that you use. Um, so it starts at 0.85, it goes down as you use it, so if you want to run it again and reset it, or if you have, if you want, if you've got a large list and um, it's put too much in each group, so you'd rather have more groups, um, just start off with a very high threshold. So if I increase that to, let's do a really high one just to show you. So it goes all the way up to one. So let's say if we do a really high threshold um, and then do the groups again. Uh, so you can see it's put chocolate and cake in separate groups with the high threshold. And to put table and chair into separate groups, it's put the cat and chair. <laughs> and so yeah, that threshold would be too high for this one. Um, and then yeah, the cat. Um, so it gives better results when you've got longer inputs. Um, if you do the opposite, if you do a really low threshold, um, then it's more likely to just kind of put everything in the same group. So once you get your output, depending on whether you've got too many or too few groups, um, maybe worth trying it again. So you just put everything just in the same group because the threshold is way too low. Um, but 0.85 seems to be the happy medium. If you've got a very long list, then it, it's better to do a slightly higher threshold. Um, let's just run it again just to fix it. If you change any of these, then you have to do the embeddings again as well. Um, so you go, and then this is what the output looks like. So uh, this is just to make it easier to kind of export it. So you've got the name of the group. It gives the group a unique ID. It tells you four groups, um, and then there you've got the group ID, the name of the group, and which inputs are in that group. So you could like copy and paste that to someone else. And um, this one just happens to be in alphabetical order. I mean, in group order, just by coincidence. But this one will actually put it in order. Um, I'll show you the question and answer one. So same thing, we have questions, we've got answers, we put them together, uh, we get our embeddings. Show in there, and then once we've got them, we would group them. As um, so you can see, it's grouped the first three all as the same as what's the capital of France, and it's grouped the second two, same as what, what's my age, and what's your age have been grouped together. Um, and you can see two groups, group one and two, because um, these are short lists, they just happen to have ended up in order. We've got a very long list, it won't end up in order, in which case you've got you've got it sorted by order as well, or if you want it, you can just kind of grab it and um, put it wherever you need it. So yeah, it's quite a basic tool, but it potentially saves someone a lot of time. Um, and then if it's going to start again, just clear the sheet. Okay, well, that's pretty much it. Um, hope you find it useful.